Site Bites. Answers to questions from the Next Byte website. Brought to you by Purina. Fucker, you want to help me carry some wood for the fire? Huh? There you go. This week's Site Bite question from the Next Byte website. The biters want to know what's the advantage to running a tiller style kicker motor as opposed to tying it into the main engine? Oh man, there's a nice fish. I've got a little uh, answer to a question from the website as it pertains to kicker motors, but let me let this fish go first. Uh, he was a dandy boy. <laughs> that was a nice fish. I'll tell you, and to get nice fish like that, proper kicker usage is the real key. If you notice, those of us at the next bite use kickers with tiller handles. And there's a real reason for that. Now, I'm not saying that it's always the right way for your body of water. There are a lot of instances, like actually like what we're doing here, fishing a flats area with planer boards, where you could tie this little kicker motor, your utility motor for fishing, into your big engine with a bar. And a lot of people do that. Preferably, I don't like to do that, and I know Keith doesn't and Pete doesn't either. The reason for that is a tiller handle kicker gives you much better versatility. It allows us to troll in, in sections of water where we're trolling on the edge of a real steep drop off. I can turn fast, instantaneous. It's just as easy as this, okay? If this was hooked into the main engine, I'd have to use my steering wheel on the main engine to turn the kicker, not fast enough. Here's another good scenario. Even on open water situations where we're fishing flats areas, you saw how big that fish was. If this was a rough day, the wind could be pushing me so fast that I couldn't actually slow the boat down enough. I'd be putting way too much pressure on that fish. With a tiller kicker, I can kick this engine in neutral, then reverse, depending on what speed I need and the size of the fish. I can actually get on the back deck, run the kicker in reverse, maneuver the boat wherever I have to, to kick that fish off into an area that's easier to net or to reduce the amount of pressure you put on the fish. So we're talking about the utmost in versatility. The one thing that you do need if you're gonna be running a, a kicker motor with a tiller handle like this, most of the bigger boats today that use kickers have these larger rear decks. The rear decks are great. You can stand on them for casting and in jig fishing scenarios. Uh, you could put your crankbaits and spinners on them and rig stuff, it's just a, a great tool. But the handles on the kicker are a little bit too short. So you notice we have an extension handle on here, that's pretty common. So for the best fishing ability, the most maneuverability, and the best overall kicker setup, the tiller handle rocks. Remember on the Next Bite website, you not only get answers to your questions, but you can read tips, articles, get great information to help you catch fish with teeth. Hey, hey, I'll trade you that for the wood, huh? <laughs>